Hello, my name is Jamie Noel. I am a professor of chemistry at the University of Western Ontario in London, Canada. I'm an electrochemist by training and wandered into the field of corrosion when a job became available to make some electrochemical measurements of corrosion processes taking place during the decontamination of the primary coolant system of a nuclear reactor. Contacts that I made doing that first job led me to another position studying the corrosion of candidate materials for the construction of nuclear fuel waste disposal containers. One of the things that I enjoy so much about working in this area is the opportunity to be part of a diverse team of scientists and engineers, not just from corrosion, but also from chemistry and geochemistry, metallurgy, hydrogeology, civil engineering, physics, microbiology, and other fields, all of us working on different aspects of the same major technological problem, and not just independently, but also interdependently. It's exciting to solve a problem or understand a process that a single field could not properly address on its own. And I gain so much by learning some of the language, perspectives and approaches used by those with training back backgrounds uh, much different than my own. It's a source of good ideas for my own work too. As an undergraduate student, I envisaged a career of working alone with a rack of test tubes in a basement lab with no windows reality couldn't be further from that. I could not have imagined that I would eventually travel the world to do specialized experiments and to speak at conferences and that I'd be able to work on projects with the likes of Dave Shoesmith, John Skelly, Rob Kelly, Mary Ryan, Roger Newman, Jerry Frankel, Sana Virtanen, Tom Devine and quite a long list of other corrosion stars. Sorry I can't list you all uh, here. <laughs> Uh, I'm honored also to see my name with the distinguished list of other uh, associate editors of Corrosion Journal. It's an important journal in our field and I've been fortunate to have some of my own work published there. So I'm happy to give back some of my time and effort to help continue and support this important public forum for our field's best accomplishments. So congratulations to Corrosion Journal on reaching the 75th anniversary and good wishes for many, many more.